What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. Today we are going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch online service and whether or not you should buy it or not. So if you like... games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it! Okay, so a lot of people know that this channel loves the Nintendo Switch, which means I love this Nintendo Switch because everything about it so far has just been so awesome. Whether it's the games on the system, whether it's the system itself, being able to pick it up and take it anywhere, whatever it may be, this thing is great. And I catch myself playing this console more than I do almost any other console that I have, but definitely more than the current gen consoles that are out there. So with new games coming to the system and old games coming to the system, this video is going to be all about the Nintendo Switch online, which includes some cool stuff. It includes being able to play online with a bunch of games that are already previously been online but have been free so far. The online system currently has a bunch of cool things and that is allowing you to play online with games that you've been able to previously play online for free, but now that the system is up and running, it now costs. But then you also have NES games, and hopefully SNES games to come very soon, and you also have voice chat available now with the chat app, but we'll get to that later on. I'm going to talk about some good things about the system, then I will talk about some bad things about the Switch Online. And then we'll come back and I will talk about what I think about this system. So let's start out with being able to play online. So if you have a Switch and you've had it for a year, maybe a year and a half, or maybe a month or anything like that, and you have played online, you have been using the service for free. Well, part of the service, the online portion at least. There are a few games that are excluded like Fortnite and a Minecraft and stuff like that, but for the most part, if you're playing any of the Nintendo branded games online, you're using this service. Now, you're talking Splatoon 2, you're talking Super Mario Odyssey, you're talking Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and many more games that are using this service. Now, it's been implemented for about a week, maybe a little bit longer, but it's been very awesome to get this system and very much well enjoy it, for me at least. Now, the online functionality is really awesome because what I like to do is stream with you guys and playing the Switch and playing Splatoon 2 especially is something that I really enjoy and you guys seem to enjoy it soon. So if you like that and you wanna play more of it, either you gotta buy the system or you can't play it. And when I say system, I mean the Switch Online, which is pretty okay. The price is really great. If you think about it, you get this for $20 for one year, which is a really good deal. That's less than $2 a month. Who's going to complain about that? I'm definitely not, especially when I have been paying three times the amount. Yes, that's $60 a year on both Xbox and PS4. So, that's one thing that really drew me to this now. I knew I was going to get it already, but the price, whenever it was first announced, I knew that I was going to buy this right away the day of because $20, you can't go wrong there. I'm not questioning it or anything. I'm like, $20, okay, cool, I'll at least play online and it'll be enough entertainment value for that. So that's really cool. Now we're talking about the NES games, there's some really cool ones on there, there's some really basic sports ones that you've probably all played before, but I'm pretty happy with the first run of things. You've got your normal games like Super Mario Bros and Super Mario Bros 3, you got your Zelda, you've got all sorts of cool stuff. You got River City Ransom, you've got Ice Hockey, which is actually really good looking on the Switch, so I definitely enjoyed it. 
you've got your Tech Mobile, you've got your Yoshi, you got all these awesome games on this system. So I am also very happy about this because if you are watching this channel, you know this is about retro video games. So being able to play my retro games on the Switch on the go is so great. So what I've been doing this last week is what I do is I'll take my lunch to work and then I will also take my Switch to work, which means if I have an hour to eat and it takes me 20 minutes, I've got 40 minutes to play on my Switch. And being able to play NES games on that is just great on the go. So I really am very happy about this. Now, I know more games are being released sooner rather than later, hopefully. And I, I've heard good things about NES games. Hopefully, SNES games come as well. And there's been some kind of rumor that came out today about some data miner finding um, GameCube and N64 ROMs or something in a JSON file, which is really cool. Now, the day that I am re recording this is actually the day that they were found, not the day that this is releasing. So if you see that and you think, oh, that was two days ago, well, turns out I try to schedule things about a day or two in advance, and this one just happened to be two days. So. That's something I'm really stoked about, is hearing that maybe we're going to see some N64 games, and it would be even better if we could find some GameCube games, and what if they brought like a Virtual Boy games, or something weird and wacky, maybe some Game Boy games, to the system. I think that would be really great. Now, we're going to turn to something that I think is kind of the downfall of the system, and I want you guys to comment below and let me know was it a good thing or a bad thing that they did this and let me know what you guys all think of it. So the bad part is the, the chat thing. It, they want you to use your cell phone to use the Nintendo app to chat with your friends. I don't like that idea and a lot of people do not like that idea, idea at all. Now you're talking about the Xbox and the PS4, they both have the party chat and you can just hop in a party and chat with your friends it's called a party chat you can't do that here you just can't do it you can find ways of doing it off of the switch with discord or uh, skype or anything kind of like that but this is something that the servers i feel like probably can't hold right now maybe they're wanting to do something to where they focus on the gameplay and not really trying to house all that data and stream it all. I understand maybe it's going to be too hard for the system to handle both the gameplay online and the audio, but I think if you beef up those servers with this money from the upfront people paying, hopefully Nintendo will be like, oh, everyone wants video chat let's give it to them and let's make them happy which i feel like nintendo might do now it's a nintendo they tend to not listen but over the course of like the last year two years maybe they've really started to pick up on things and kind of listened a little bit more with freaking animal crossing coming i didn't expect that to happen at all like i was thinking nah, it's not gonna happen for at least another year uh, maybe they won't announce it for another year. Maybe it'll be two or three years in the works. But coming out and already saying it, that's something that's really cool to see from Nintendo. It shows that they're kind of uh, growing and learning what the actual user wants. And hopefully they continue to listen and they get better and better. Now they are a really good uh, company already. They produce great games and great consoles. But there's things that people like to nitpick, and I think the video chat is going to be a big nitpick. Now, to let you guys know what I think about it, for 20 bucks, you can't pass it up. Even if you don't get voice chat, whatever, that doesn't matter. You're getting NES games, you're getting able to play online, and it's only $20. The other two companies, I'm talking about Microsoft and Sony, are charging three times the amount of that. I don't see the benefit of charging three times the amount compared to the $20 that the Switch is doing. Now yes, there's things that they don't have, but 
I feel like the Switch is doing it really well for what they have so far. So if you like this video or if you dislike it, comment below and tell me why. Do you like the Switch Online? Do you hate it? I want to know what you guys think because ultimately I play, play this thing. I'm going to use it. I already have it. So it's definitely going to be rad. But well, hopefully you guys pick it up so we can play together because when we stream, we have a lot of fun and I hope you guys check it out. Make sure you hit that notification bell because if you want to see a live stream, hitting that bell will get you the fastest notification possible on YouTube. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Don't forget about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Big Cartel, Patreon. All that stuff is down below in the description. Now that Patreon is just a tip jar, so don't feel like you have to go and pay me. That's not what this is about. But also, I want to thank you all for watching. You guys are great. Comment below, let me know. Like everything, tell me what you think. Don't forget to subscribe while you're at it and hit that bell notification if you want to be able to stream with me. Maybe we can play some Splatoon 2. But most importantly, I just want to thank you all for the watching and have a good day.